Hi, my name is Alastair Dunn. I'm General Manager of RG Hardy & Co, the, the bagpipe makers. I'm going to introduce to you today the new Peter Henderson Plastic Band Chanter. Uh, the original chanter has been sold worldwide and we've received uh, feedback from, from pipers. And based on this and based on uh, more testing from myself and the reads that are available on the market today, I've made some changes to the original chanter, which is what you see here today. Uh, there's been three significant changes. The first one has been the reed seat. I've changed the, the reed seat design so that the reeds sit snugly into the, the seat so you don't have to add too much hemp or take too much hemp off, which ensures you get a stable sign from the reed and there's no movement with the reed. Uh, the next thing is that when you get a chanter at first, the holes are quite small, and, and most of the chanters anyway in the market. And so the projection isn't always good initially. So I was keen not to make the holes too big so that if you do have small hands or a small reach, you can still comfort comfortably play the chanter. But I still wanted to get the projection. So what I've done is I've created oval sign tools on the chanter. So these are these are quite large, and what this does is improves the overall projection, uh, particularly of the, the the bottom hand, the low A and the low G. Uh, there there is a nice top hand on this chanter already. Um, so the chanter will pitch at uh, four five four if you're working with a chord meter, or four eighty if you're working with another meter like the the Chesney or the Dalriada. Uh, the next change uh, is just to bring it in line with the, the successful Blackwood chanter, which is play, played by many top solo pipers. So originally this chanter was engraved round the bottom, and what I've done is just, we've got the pH mark now engraved at the top of the chanter. You could also have your band name engraved on the bottom of the chanter, or even a number at the bottom, so you can keep track of what piper has what number of chanter. Uh, I'm now going to demonstrate this chanter for you. You've just heard the new Peter Henderson plastic band chanter. So I've set this chanter up with a reed uh, and as you can see the reed is not too deep in the reed seat and it's not too high either so it's given me a nice stable sound. I've also taped up the chanter and as you can see there's not <coughs> too much tape, there's just a nice amount of tape that you can get fine adjustment uh, to pitch each of the holes in the day of the competition. So that's all the way through the chanter, just a nice amount of tape.